Hello YouTube, this is Bowtide Media. Today we are extending on the festivities of the Monster Cat 10 year anniversary with the only artist on this compilation that I have never heard of. No, I wouldn't say never heard of. I've never listened to before. Uh, when Silk was acquired by Monster Cat, I went back and looked at some of their stuff and heard some of the bigger names. I heard Mango was a name that was thrown around a couple times, and so uh, now Mango is on the 10-year anniversary project uh, with a song that would have came out uh, 10 years ago today. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so 10 years ago today, uh, 2011, um, I know nothing of this, I have no idea, uh, Silk is not generally my flavor, I don't really like Silk a whole ton, especially compared to Instinct and Uncaged, but who knows, there's been some good tracks I've enjoyed, uh, who knows what this is gonna be like. But this is 2011 Progressive House, or I'm assuming it's Progressive House. Um, actually, I do know from the genre thing. Um, and I that was like the heyday of House. That was like some of the best years of House. So maybe I will love this. Uh, let's go. 10 years ago today by Mango. If that doesn't feel like a classic House intro, I don't know what else. Like there's... Psh Oh, gonna come back up. <clears throat> I looked at Mango's thing on Spotify here. Um, only 42,000 monthly listeners. That is not a lot. Um, by far, I think, the, the least listened to artist on this compilation. So cool that they're getting some... Uh, um, Respect. This is a nice little bright house tune so far. This is the part of Silk that I don't love, is that it's like, this is fairly repetitive. <laughs> We're what, a minute 30 in? And just, like it's nice. It's serene, it's kind of, it's a nice, beautiful song, but I could just use some more. Some oomph of something. This is weird. <laughs> this is super silly to dance to. If it just does this all song. <laughs> <clears throat> this does remind me of Eminence though, their universe EP. Um, just the sound of it reminds me of, uh, what was it? Well, the song universe. Uh, Where the Light Is, I think. The first song off that EP. And I liked that EP back then, in whenever it was released in like 2014, mid 2014, something like that. Pretty much the halfway part of the song and still not a lot has happened. Oh, I thought I was gonna actually do something else. Ooh, there's some nice foley in there. It's like wa some water.
I guarantee this video will have the least amount of people watching all the way through of this song in particular. Especially at this point. I think this is the lowest viewership point <laughs> of the video. Who knows, maybe I'm wrong. The random things I think of while I'm listening to background chill music. I have a lot of energy right now. Probably because the 10 year anniversary is out. And the slow swells again as the song comes to a conclusion. Um, yeah, so that definitely uh, sounded like 2011 Progressive House. Um, and I wouldn't say I loved it. Uh, it was just uh, like, I just mean that it's a background track. It was solid. Um, I actually think it was better than some of the, uh, actually a fair amount of Silk songs, I think, nowadays. Um, I don't know what it was. Maybe I'm just crazy. The The quality and mixing of it sounded better than a lot of the Silk stuff nowadays. I don't know why. I don't know if that even makes sense, but who knows if he actually did a remaster and mix of it for this compilation. Um, but, uh, like, I, I, I mean, I dug that. For a Silk song, that would have been, like, a... Uh, above average silk song for me uh, in a ranking or lists of something. Um, it wasn't. It wasn't too bad. Um, I've never heard of Mango or I've never heard Mango's music before, so I don't know what the rest of his stuff is like. Um, but I mean, it was enjoyable. Just a chill background kind of track with uh, not a lot going on. Um, so I mean, that makes sense for 2011. I, I get it for 2011, which is why these are hard to like rank or score because it's like. Do I score it or do I rank it based off of the 2011 feeling or do I off of now? So it's like, huh? Yeah, so uh, that's just for, I guess, you in the comments, I would actually love, do you compare these songs to um, the decade or the decade, they're all from the same decade. Um, the, uh, the song that it is today or do you compare it to what it should have been when it was released in like should have been released in 2011. I would love to know what you guys think about that in the comment section below. Uh, but yeah, I don't have much more to say about it. Uh, I think I've, <laughs> I've said it all already. Uh, not a super interesting track for me, but uh, nonetheless, I'm, uh, I, I did like it. I did like it. But uh, that is it. I am Bowtied Media. I would love to know what you guys think in the comment section below for this song in particular. What did you think of Mango? Have you listened to Mango before? Have you not? Have you listened to his discography a ton? People that listen to a ton of Silk beforehand, is Mango like one of your, like one of the Shingo Nakamura's or Vintage of Morelli? Is like, he's like one of the bigger names out there. Uh, I'd love to know what you guys say in the comment section below. I'm Bowtied Media and I will see you guys in another video.